Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Hope you all are fine. Hope you are fine. Hope your family is okay. Now I'm going to start discussing a new project. I'm going to start uh, discussing how to design a four bedroom uh, house and building. This is going to be from scratch to finish. So as you can see on the AutoCAD and work and space, so we have uh, this uh, four bedroom and uh, house and building. So in this uh, series of uh, videos, you are going to be learning how to design uh, this. So make sure you stay in tune. Okay. So this is the uh, ground and uh, floor and uh, plan. As you can see, we are having uh, just a uh, one uh, floor plan. So the reason I choose uh, just one one uh, floor and uh, just a uh, one floor, this is because I want to start from the uh, basics. I want you guys to understand how to properly and uh, design. Uh, I want you guys to understand how to properly design a residential and uh, building. So that is why I choose and uh, this. After completing uh, this uh, project, we can move to other. Uh, projects where we can design a three-story building, four-story, eight-story, ten-story, etc. But for now, let's focus on this. You know, you need to learn how to uh, crawl before you can walk and also you need to learn how to walk before you can run. Okay. So now, this is the architectural plan. After getting the architectural uh, plan, so what we need to do is we need to create our own structural uh, plan you know as a structural engineer we are going to create our own structural uh, plan now if you want to create your structural uh, plan what you need to do is the first thing you need to do is you need to make a copy of this architectural uh, plan you don't want you don't want to um, use this original architectural plan to uh, create your structural plan no you want to make a copy of this um, architectural plan so that you can use the copied architectural plan to create your own uh, structural uh, plan. So that is what we are going to do. So for that, you, you just need to uh, select, you need to select just this uh, ground and floor plan. This is what we need. Okay. So you just need to click then so that you can have this uh, blue rectangular selection. Okay. So after select, after selecting this, now let's copy this. So it's CO, which is a shortcut for copy. So now it's going to ask you to specify the base point. So let's say this is our base point. You click on this. Now we can freely uh, move this. So let's say we we'll place this here. Then hit escape. As you can see, this is our copied ground floor plan. With this copied ground floor plan, we can create our structural uh, plan. Okay. So this is what we need. Now, after copying the architectural and ground floor plan, so what we need to do in order to create the structural uh, plan is we need to create a uh, two and uh, layers. So we need to create one layer for a uh, structural grid and also one layer for column. As you can see on this architectural plan, this is the um, architectural grid. We don't need this architectural grid because we are creating a structural plan. We, also, we need a structural uh, grid. Okay. So whatever object, whatever um, object is not a uh, necessary uh, to create the structural uh, plan you just delete uh, those uh, objects okay so as you can see this grid is not necessary we can delete this grid and also this object they are not necessary structurally they are not necessary you see this and uh, so far and all that they are not necessary also this um, if you this object if you just move if you just uh, move up like this you see the this um, this uh, toilet and uh, image this toilet image is not uh, necessary so we can just uh, delete uh, all unnecessary objects so that we can create our um, structural uh, plan okay so what i'm going to do first of all i'm, I'm going to delete uh, this uh, structural and uh, grid so i'm just i'll just uh, select this then now to select all other uh, grid to select all other uh, grid so just right click then come to where it says select similar as you can see all other grid has been selected now before you delete this you need to make sure that this you need to understand that this is a copied and ground and floor uh, plan. So, because you select this using select similar, then meaning the grid, the grid um, on the original, on the original and ground floor plan is also going to be selected. And we don't want to delete. We don't want to make um, any uh, changes um, on the original ground floor plan. So that is why we need to deselect those and uh, grid. Okay. So we, we need to deselect those grid now. To deselect the grid, just hold down shift, then click. So that you can activate your blue rectangular and selection so let's do this again so hold down a shift then you have to click so activate your rectangular blue selection uh, window then now you can click like this 
as you can see the grid on the original uh, ground floor plan has been selected now we have just the grid on the uh, copy the ground uh, on the on the copy ground floor plan so just hit e to erase or you can just uh, hit the delete key on your keyboard then enter now this has been erased so if you want you can see this is it now we no longer have the grid okay so you can also delete all these uh, objects so what we need to do now is we need to create a uh, two layer so one layer for structural grid and also one layer for column so the reason we are creating this um this um and uh, two uh, layers is because when after creating the uh, structural plan if you want to if you want to import the structural plan to any uh, structural uh, designing software of your choice you you'll be able to import and uh, you'll be able to import the structural plan but if you don't create this uh, layer you won't, you won't be able to import uh, the uh, st the structural plan so that is why it is important for you to create uh, the uh, layers okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to create uh, those layers so it la which is a shortcut for layer it la then enter so as you can see we already have some layers here this layer where these layers were created by the architect we don't need this uh, layer we, we need just two layers so what you want to do you want to come to where it says uh, new so you click and uh, new new layer so let's first of all start with uh, the structural grid so let's call this structural grid so now you can change the color so let's uh, change the color so let's say we, we want uh, uh, we want this color so we want this color uh, magenta okay then the line type so let's say we want hidden line so you click this then okay then line weights you can also change the line weight so let's say we want this uh, 0 0.20 millimeter okay then also let's create another another layer for column so click this i'm gonna call this column okay now the, the color let's change the color so let's just click on this then let's say we use yellow color then okay then a line type we are going to use um, in a line type continuous okay then the line weights so let's uh, use a line weight of 0 0.40 millimeter then okay so now the first the first thing you want to do is we want to uh, place the uh, structural and grid so we're going to have two grid we're going to have horizontal and uh, structural grid and also we're going to have vertical structural grid so that is why you need to uh, set the structural grid as the current as the current and uh, layer okay so it is very it is uh, very very uh, important so click that then go to where it says uh so you right click then go to where it says set current now you can close uh, this okay so you need to make sure now if you come to this property make sure the this is by layer and also this and line weight is also by layer then also this line type is also by layer it is very very important okay now we are ready to start and placing um the and grid so the grid are going to be placed the grid are going to be placed at the at the midpoint of the wall so as you can see you see this and wall this and wall is uh, along the um is uh, along the horizontal direction so that is why we are going to create what we call horizontal st uh, structural grid now to create horizontal structural grid so you just hit and uh, we are going to be using construction line construction line which uh, run to infinity so it sl which is a short code for construction line then enter so because we are going to be creating horizontal and uh, horizontal construction line because this is a uh, horizontal and wall so you hit and um, uh, h which is horizontal enter so as you can see this is the construction line so if you can't find the midpoint of this wall so what you can what you can do is you can just hit escape just and create a line hit l enter then click this uh, mid uh, click this endpoint so if you want if you want the line to be uh, to be straight so you can just um, activate and uh, this uh, what we call um, auto mode so just activate this so click and this to activate the auto mode now you can freely and uh, draw a straight uh, line okay so just hit uh, click that uh, point then click and this perpendicular then enter okay so now as you can see we have this line so go back to sl it enter now um h horizontal it enter now as you can see we have the midpoint of this and uh, wall so just click and this then it escape so as you can see right now we have um, this we have in uh, this horizontal position a line which is uh, at the midpoint of this horizontal wall so we know we no longer need uh, this uh, line 
so you can just uh, select like this and delete so you see it's it seems the as you can see it seems this uh, horizontal correction line the line scale is too large as you can see so what we can do we can decrease this line scale so just select this then hit LTS which is a shortcut for line line type scale then hit enter as you can see the line the line scale factor is 48 which is way too large so we just input this as one then enter now as you can see this has um, reduced the scale so what you need to do you just need to uh, place this horizontal construction uh, line at the uh, midpoint of the of the wall which is um, aligned horizontally so you see this wall so you can also place the horizontal construction line um, at um, the midpoint of this uh, wall so we need this because we are going to be placing our our columns um, at this uh, grid line so this is where i'm going to stop in uh, this video i don't want this video to be too long so this video uh, I'm, I'm going to be uh, making uh, more i'm going to be making uh, more videos so but for now let's just stop here in in the uh, next video we are going to see how to place the the how to place the remaining construction and line along the uh, vertical wall and also along the horizontal wall so i hope you guys understood everything so far so stay safe stay blessed bye bye